guys, it's G4YVM here from Bantana Antennas. Um, I've spent some weeks now working on my new loft antenna, which is pretty much ready to go. I'm going to start making them next week. The antenna is uh, six meters long, but like my sleeve antenna, that's not the length of wire that's in it. And uh, so an antenna which is just under six meters long, actually about five and a half meters in full physical length, complete with uh, an unun. And it's a unique unun, it's the Bantana unun design. You can't operate this antenna with anything else. Well, you might, but <laughs> this is what I'm supplying. Uh, and it comes ready to go. If you've got really short space in your house, if you can get up in your loft or your conservatory or your living room, anywhere you like, a length of antenna, which is six meters, it's about, I suppose it's about six or seven meters with the bridles, it doesn't have to be. And you can get that in clear space away from any metal work, usual things of aerials. Uh, then you can run this loft tenor and uh, it will, it, it could well revolutionize what you do. I'm not going to make any crazy gain, gains about it. I'm not going to say, oh, it's got a 14 dB gain and it's got a 25 dB back to front. It's not that. It's not a, um, you know, it's not something like a beam or anything. It's not a hex beam. It's a loft aerial. Uh, but it's a good little device and if you can get a six meter run, a uh, clear run in your loft and you struggle with other aerials, this will do you a treat. I'm looking at it now, I'm not going to show it to you just that, I'll show it to you uh, next week and I'll let you have a look at it, but they're pretty cool. Okay guys, so this is the new uh, Bantana loft tenor. Just a quick SWR analysis. Top band, it's not very good on top band, but when you see the dimensions of the aerial, that's perhaps not surprising. So what about 80 meters? Change the range. 3.6 say, there's 80 meters. That's all right, isn't it? 40 meters, let's have a look at 40. Oops, wrong way. Seven, oops, come on. That would be a nice band, wouldn't it? 7.3, 7.15, come on. 2.7, there you go. Two and a half to one. In the real end of the band where the CW operators live, it's even lower. 20 meters, 1.6. Uh, what else have we got? 10 megahertz works on 10 megahertz this device won't go up to 10 meters but uh, it's probably not the area you want for 10 meters so all the main bands it's going to work on uh, 17 megs will we get 17 megs let's have a look I mean 17 meters 18 megs. There's 18 megs. <sighs> 24 megs. Does it work on 21 megs? It would appear to. Uh, 10 megs we've done, 40 meters. Uh, 5 megs, of course, people might want to use it on. What are we doing? Send in CW. Five megs it works on. That's uh, SWR sweep of the new Bantana loft antenna. So this is the the loft antenna and it comes with um, uh, it will come with a butterfly nut there for fixing on the uh, the, the counterpoise SO239 fitting. The antenna will fit on a bind post and that's neatly molded. Looks like a polo mint and there's a toroid in there. Uh, no secrets about that. That might, that's a grey one. The uh, the other ones I'm producing, they're exactly the same inside, but they are uh, yellow. Uh, and um, we print these ourselves, obviously, and all the new ones are likely to be yellow. So that's uh, that's the Bantana Loft Tenor Kit. I'll show you the aerial next week. I'm just going to tidy this one up. I've been using it today, testing it out for SWR, and uh, you wait and see this thing.